Hello, 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 Facebook world. This is Melissa Hartman, but you can also call me hashtag Boss Mish. Boss Mish, as you guys can see. Uh, coming to you guys live tonight to talk a little bit about some signs that you might be in ketosis. So, if you are tuning in live, do me a favor, drop me the number one. If you're watching this as a replay, drop me the number two. And if you're new to this broadcast, welcome. Thanks so much for being here. Drop me the word new in the comments. And um, if you guys think you're going to get some value from this, feel free to slam that share button. Comment the word shared and I'd love to connect with you later on and thank you for that. Uh, let's get started. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I know if I'm in ketosis? And so I wanted to talk about some signs that you may be in that fat burning state. So let's get started. Number one, we're gonna talk about the good and then we're gonna talk about the not so fun parts of getting into ketosis, okay? Rachel, thank you so much for sharing. All right, so number one, you are having weight loss. Hey, oh, if anybody likes some weight loss, feel free to slam some hearts across the screen. Always a side benefit of getting into ketosis. Um, your first week, you'll probably lose a good amount of weight, and there is a lot of like controversy, controversy as to whether that is um, actually fat or if it's just carbs or water, whatever it is, we're glad to see it go. Am I right or am I right? Of course I'm right, so that's always good. You're gonna notice as time goes on though, if as long as you're at a calorie deficit, you're always gonna be continuously losing fat unless there's something going on with your diet that needs to be adjusted. Randy Norton, thanks so much for sharing, my love. All right, so that's my number one tip. My number two sign that you are in a fat burning state is appetite suppression, okay? So um, there's a lot of things that they're speculating as to why you have appetite suppression and it could be because you're uh, upping your protein and your veggies and you're not just eating garbage. Yes, that wording is appropriate. Garbage, okay? You're not shoving your face full of garbage that's made out of carbs, okay? Um, it could also be the ketones and how they're like reacting with your brain. Or it could also be like your hunger hormones that are affected. So we're not really sure why, according to like the research that I've done. Hey Marlene, welcome to the broadcast. But appetite suppression is definitely a good thing. If you guys uh, have any of these while following the ketogenic diet, feel free to drop what you've experienced because I think there are a lot of people who are curious about keto who may not be keto yet. Uh, and want to know what some of the benefits are. So number three sign that you're in ketosis is you have better focus and energy. Now I'm going to tell you guys something. When you're first starting off, there are a lot of people who get the keto flu. If you experience that, feel free to drop me the word flu in the comments below. And uh, Louise, thank you for sharing. Um, but it will go away, okay? So some people can be days, some people can be weeks. Really depends on, it depends on a lot of things, okay? So you may definitely feel kind of crummy in the beginning, but that's normal, okay? Um, ketones are a very potent fuel source. So when your body is getting used to those, your brain is gonna be like on fire and you're gonna have such better mental focus and clarity Jessica, thank you so much for sharing. My eyebrows are a bit off, I don't care. Look at my eyebrows, folks. They're not perfect and they're not supposed to be twins, they're supposed to be sisters, so please don't judge my eyebrows. Now I'm just gonna be like this the whole broadcast. I'm so glad you barely got the flu, Danielle. Um, also, the when you are running on a ketogenic diet, you stabilize your blood sugar levels, which also makes uh, that focus and energy a little bit better, okay? Number four thing that people notice when they're following a ketogenic lifestyle is the um, is the like dry mouth or increased thirst. So if you're extra thirsty, that's okay. If you have a little bit of dry mouth, uh, that's okay too. It probably means that you're in your fat burning state. Uh, what's happening is you're losing electrolytes, okay? So 
Um, adding things like pink Himalayan salt. You guys know that in every, like every single recipe I make, I, I add pink salt. So that's important. Drink a lot of extra water. It's gonna work out just fine, okay? Um, number five is if you can, you can measure ketones in your blood, okay? So this I personally don't do because I didn't wanna buy one of those uh, blood ketone meters. But your body basically um, burns fat for energy and then you make ketones, okay? So your, your body breaks down the fat and then that number of ketones actually increases. Does that make sense? Okay, I hope that makes sense. So you can buy one of these blood ketone meters. I think they're like 60 bucks or something on Amazon. It's either like $59.99 or $99.99, I can't remember. But basically what that's measuring is it's measure, measuring the BHB, which is beta-hydroxybutyrate, uh, in your bloodstream. And when that's higher, that means you're most likely in a state of ketosis, which is that fat-burning state. Cool? All right, so those were some of like the really awesome things that happen when you're in ketosis. Let's talk about some of the things that other people may not be so excited about. Um, that means you are in ketosis, okay? Uh, so my number six is bad breath, all right? So basically, there is a form of ketone, it's acetone, and it exits in your urine or it exits in your breath, okay? So some people will say it smells kind of fruity, some people just say it smells kind of bad. Um, either way, uh, it's, it's not that pleasant, but good news is there's sugar-free gum. I personally don't try to like chew gum or mints very often just because there's a lot of like crap that they put in that stuff, so I kind of avoid that. I think there's like some natural like peppermint drops or something you could probably look into. But you can brush your teeth like a few times a day. That's totally acceptable in the ketogenic world. Uh, and it does tend to go away after some time. So just know that if people are like, hey sister, your breath is smelling a little funky just know that that'll probably go away in time, okay? And then number seven sign that you may be getting into ketosis is fatigue. So in the beginning, they say like seven to 30 days, it can take most people to get into that fat burning state. Oh yeah, essential oils, peppermint, perfect. Um, so it can take seven to 30 days before you're fully in a fat burning state. So getting things like those electrolytes that I mentioned earlier, you're gonna need uh, sodium, you're gonna need potassium, and you're gonna need magnesium. I don't have like the specific amounts, but feel free to look that up on the internet. Google is a really great resource, guys. Uh, and if you're getting some value, please share this. And if you're not already following me, make sure to push that follow button we're going back to recipes tomorrow. I've been fasting for like, I don't know, like 50 some hours. It feels like a thousand right now. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, we're sticking through. We're feeling pretty good. And I'm talking to you guys. So what really can get much better, right? All right, so get your electrolytes in. You can supplement with, you know, there's a ton of great supplements online you can find too. So just look for that. Number eight thing you're gonna notice is in the beginning, your performance as far as uh, like the gym may decrease a little bit. So uh, basically what happens, as I had to do some research on this because I was not well aware, but now I know and I'm sharing with you guys, is there's actually a decrease in your muscles glycogen uh, stores and basically that's the most efficient fuel source for high intensity exercise. So what happens is over a few weeks your performance is going to return back to normal and there was a really, uh, I guess there was a really popular study done and you burn more fat when you become keto adapted and you actually burn 230% more fat. Like, hello, if you would love to burn that much more fat, can you drop me some hearts across the screen? I think that's pretty amazing. So yeah, in the beginning, your training may suffer just a little bit, but if you can burn 230% more fat, I would say that is probably 
worth it in my eyes, okay? All right, number nine sign that you may be getting into a state of ketosis is some digestive issues. Now I'm gonna need you all to drop me a poop emoji below because yes, we are going there. So here's the thing. <laughs> some people get constipated. Some people get diarrhea. There are just things that happen because your body is adjusting. You're transitioning to a totally different fuel source. How are you not anticipating something with your tummy is going to be changing a little bit, okay? Your body is transitioning. Give it that time to transition. It's not going to be like that forever. I promise you it will get better. Just never trust a fart. Okay, I'm just going to say it. I said it on a Facebook Live. I might turn a little red, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. And then my number 10 uh, sign that you may be in ketosis is in the beginning you may have some sleepy time troubles so drop me that little emoji with like the the z's right next to it uh sometimes in the beginning people will suffer from insomnia or they may notice that they're waking up a little bit more throughout the night um, and that is normal for the first few weeks, but then what's amazing and what happens is you're going to sleep better than you ever have before. Now, I'm very fortunate. I actually did find ketones. And so a lot of these like keto flu problems, I didn't have to run into. Thank the good Lord, because some of them are just not that pleasant. Um, but you're going to, there are people who will run into some of these. So it's not going to happen to everyone. You're not going to hit every single roadblock. You're not going to hit every single sign of trouble that there is when it comes to getting into that fat burning state. But I will tell you, it is totally worth it because you're going to feel so much better. Guys, like keto is an amazing way of life. It's changing people's lives physically and uh, it's just amazing. So if you guys got some value from this, can you please do me a favor and drop me the number 10 in the comments below? I'd love to know if you got some value. Can you please share this out to anyone who you think may get some value from this? Because I feel like there's a lot of people who are just very unsure as to what to expect when it comes to be getting on the keto diet. And if you're not already following me, make sure you do so. We are finally eating tomorrow after this crazy fun 60 hour fast. So I'm sure I'll be cooking up something good for you. And uh, I think that's all. So I love you guys. I appreciate you all. My name is Melissa Harvin. You can also call me hashtag boss I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.